Are you ready for some of the most beautiful natural buildings you'll ever see in your life? Let me take you on a tour of this incredible place in southern Japan, built and designed by Koji, a master craftsman and artist. When I was a younger, I wanted to be a painter. Working with us allows me to create buildings the same way I would do painting. It's a deeply creative process. The second earthback home that Koji built here on the site in 2019 is huge. 50 square meters of living space. It features a geodesic dome, an indoor greenhouse, a huge terrace and sleeping loft, and tons of really unique, interesting design features. Enjoying the magic of the space is made easy here. The truth window shows the earth bags filled with a mix of soil, lime and magnesium. The plants sit inside a huge container filled with rocks, gravel, sand and soil. Water from the shower actually goes in here before draining out. Behind these doors are the shower and toilet rooms. When I asked Koji about the exquisite tile work, he said he had been a professional tiler before getting into natural building. On the other side of the building, the geodesic dome creates a calm atmosphere inside the sleeping loft that's underneath. Beautiful windows, designed by Koji, let light into the house. This building here, which I just call the pink building, was completed in August 2018. Koji built this one to sleep up to five people. It has 25 square meters of living space and an insane amount of really beautiful features that just make it such an attractive, comfortable space to be in. Take off your shoes in the entryway area and enjoy the coolness of the floor. The peculiar shape of the huge window is ideal for absorbing the weight of the earth bags pressing down. Right above the center of the living room, there is a skylight. Koji told me that sunrise and sunset are especially beautiful times to be in here. A few steps down is the toilet and shower room. The sleeping loft is so cozy. Because the earthback house is built into the hill, it's also possible to get to the loft through a small wooden door. Mm. I like curves more than straight lines. Building with soil allows me to turn the inspirations I get from nature into reality. Suddenly, it's possible to build round, curvy forms, avoiding corners and creating unique shapes that blend into the landscape. We are now inside the Hobbit House, the third and final building that we are going to check out. It's incredibly beautiful as well and in fact when I asked Koji what his favorite building on site was, he said this one here. He comes here for painting, playing music, boxing and just meditating. It's his sanctuary, so we are not going to do a full tour. But an incredible feature of the Hobbit House I needed to show is this stone wall right here. Koji found these rocks on the property while building his earthback homes. And he decided to use these ones in the stone wall, modeled after an ancient Japanese technique called Ishigaki. 
The rocks give the room an incredible atmosphere. They are so powerful that you feel small. Yet strangely, they also lend you their strength at the same time. All of the buildings here on site really create sacred spaces where you want to become soft and just be still. We as humans have been contaminating the earth. The buildings here are meant to inspire people to live differently, to use their imagination more freely, and show that it's possible to create a sustainable paradise. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I would really appreciate if you could hit the like button to show me your support. Also, check out the video I did about Nobus Homestead right here. I think you would really like it.